welcome to Wicker's Barbecue and Home Brew and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Wilco's Summer Ale um, also I'll be cooking a pizza on the Weber barbecue a little bit later on the video might be mixed in a bit so we'll have to see uh, right let's get to it let me put you down here now, I'm going to pour one out, but I'm just drinking summer ale at the minute. Uh, it's from Wilco's Artisan Kit. Uh, one point, I think it's a 1.3 kilo kit, so it's only a small tin, and I used a brewing answer, which was 500 grams of brewing sugar and 500 grams of dried spray malt. So, cheers. Now I've tried this before. Hello. Excuse me. And it was very bitter. It come with a tiny pack of um, like hot dust. I'm not really keen on that sort of. You can really taste it. Um, but literally in the last couple of days, it's really mellowed out. And again, falling fail of the um, not leaving it long enough. So. But yeah, not a bad point. That's update wise. Update wise, I've bottled the um, Admiral's Reserve. Some of you follow me on Instagram and Twitter might have seen the pictures on that. Um, yeah, and I've got the winter ale that I'm going to do tomorrow. Because my stout's going down big time. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, dig into one of these. Just a small one for my son. Lovely. Yeah, let's not scrimp on the toppings. Superb. Now I've got to try and get that. Onto there. Right guys, I've took my apron off because I look about 20 stone in it. But uh, anyway, enough of that. I've bottled some in recycled Grolsch bottles. Absolutely superb. Three for a fiver, I think, in Tesco's or a supermarket, shall I say. Um, and then you get to keep the bottle afterwards, and they're superb, no messing about with capping. Uh, great. Anyway, let's dig in. A bit of fizz. You can see that. Oh, yeah, look at that beauty. Quite lively. Now I've got to try and pour this slowly so I can show you how clear it is. 
although I do pour the lot in and have the sediment because at the end of the day it's only sugar. Lovely carbonation. Yeah. Right. Cheers. Excuse me. Yeah. First thoughts. Tastes more like a lager than a summer ale to me. Um, very clean, crisp. Now it's settled down a bit, it's been longer in the bottle, it's conditioned a bit more. Um, so it's quite smooth now. Uh, lovely carbonation on it. I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah, very pleased with that. Um, it was a 12 quid tin. With the brewing answer, that was I think it was like four fifty, so sixteen pound fifty for forty pints ain't bad. Um, this one's coming in four percent. No, I think to be precise, it's about four point one, I think, or four point two. Um, excuse me, but yeah, another great beer. Cheers. Yeah. I think I will brew that one again for definite. Um, it's starting to come a bit chilly around here, never mind. Um, I will strike the barbecue a bit later when my wife gets home. Um, and we'll do this pizza, probably a bit of footage of me making a pizza and putting it on, and then, um, yeah, that I'm going to put in this video. Uh, other updates. Like I said, I'm going to do the brew the winter ale tomorrow. I'm leaving it a bit late, really. Um, I don't know whether it'll be well. It will be ready for Christmas because I will drink it for Christmas. Um, that's about it, home brew wise. Um, it's too cold in the shed to move any of the beer in there. Um,